Well, it's September the 19th, 2008. It's Friday, 10 to 9 in the morning. Okay, I'm going to make Aunt Gloria's scones. This is a recipe I got back in 2003. This makes about 10 to 12. And so what do we have here? We have two and a half cups of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, half a cup of butter or margarine. I'm using butter today. Uh, there's one cup of milk here. Uh, about a cup of raisins, an egg, and what we're going to do is I'm going to mix all of the dry ingredients together. So this, 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 the the uh, butter, and I'm also going to mix the raisins in there. And uh, that's the first step. So, the flour. Here's the sugar. The baking powder. A little bit of salt, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in all that butter that I've cut up. Put all that in. Now I used to do this in my kitchen aid, but it just overdoes the uh, the mixture. So I'm just going to use a uh, pastry cutter for this, and I'll get all that done. And um, I'm going to mix all that up properly and then I'll put the raisins in and then we'll come back for the next step. What will happen when this is baking is that the moisture that's contained in the butter with the heat of the oven will escape and it will make the scones start to rise. As well, the baking powder will help that out. But what makes it nice and puffy and flaky is the uh, is the butter, the, moist, the moisture in the butter. Alrighty, I've just finished that. I'm just going to take the um, raisins and toss those in. I'll mix that up and then what we're going to do is we're going to add in the uh, the milk and the egg mixture. Alright, so we're going to take the milk. That's a cup of milk. Pop the egg in there and we're going to mix that up because we don't want to mix that when it's in the dry ingredients. So we'll go ahead and mix that up now. And then we're going to pour that into the uh, dry ingredients. Bring it over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a fork and I'm going to gently mix all of that together. You do not want to over mix this. If you do, you will have um, stiff kind of scones and you don't want that. You want them light and airy and fluffy. So gently get all of this incorporated and then we'll come back. I'm just going to mix that a little bit more. Alrighty. Everything's mixed up. Well, what we need now is a pizza tray or something or other, cookie tray. And then we're, what we're doing, we're going to do is I'm just going to scoop these out and put them on the tray. Okie dokie, now I've got a few there on the uh, tray and I'm going to pop them in the oven and uh, you can roll, the, you can you can do them like this or you can roll the, roll out the whole dough into a uh, circle like a like a pizza shape and cut it into wedges if you want or you can take a cookie cutter and make little circles as well 
whatever you feel like doing. Here's the finished product. I have three more in the oven right now, but um, here's what came out. These were actually in for 30 minutes exactly. The recipe calls for 20 minutes, but uh, I'm, I like them a little larger. So, and there we go.